How are we doing guys? Here I am, I'm back again. Yeah, so as you can tell, obviously I've been uh, bringing different content, what I believe's right. Um, what's going on in our country at the minute. But don't get it twisted, I've still been training every day. As you can tell when I've put videos in the bath, my physique, I'm, I'm in good shape. Um, and yeah, I'm just ready to crack on things. Um, soon, sooner the better, really. So, but yeah, I hope you've enjoyed the uh, the content and all that. There, I'm just nailing straight up facts to you. Here. This is straight up facts that I'm just putting up and I'm putting it out there. It's as simple as that. Now, I was watching a lot there uh, earlier on on um, Vladimir Putin and what have you. Oh, what a ruthless guy he is. Some dude. And the only real guy who was our Prime Minister at the time to really, who we really kind of respected, I thought, was David Cameron. When, obviously, they went and watched the judo shows together and what have you, and David Cameron introduced him to the judo fighter. But was abrupt with him, to be fair with you. And all this talk about nuclear war, nuclear weapons. Absolutely madness. Like, uh, the guy we poisoned turned up on British soil and he said, I want to report a murder. And he says, on who? And he says, on myself. He said, Putin's killed me, he's poisoned me. And then, obviously, with uh, the head of the Wagner group, <laughs> do you know what I mean? When he uh, said to him, right, you're not welcome in Russia no more, you're staying in Belarus. Take your best man and your people with you, go on plane, go to Belarus. And all of a sudden, it was exposed, there was a bomb in the wine crate killed him yeah he's a that, that Putin is a ruthless guy if if anyone had pressed the button on a nuke he'd be the one to do it a million percent and all this with uh, Ukraine and um, him it's, it's dragging everyone in with it as well don't get me wrong I want to see Ukraine win but it's I don't do you know what I mean they've just got too many resources but President Zelensky, fair play to him, says, listen, they'll fight man, woman and child here in Ukraine. None of us will give in. We won't surrender to the end. And then you, I seen a statement what Putin said, where he said, imagine if Scotland or Wales did to use, did to the UK, what the Ukraine has done to us and cut off and go to war with us. We won't get involved. So there is that statement there as well, which I kind of understand in a way. But... It's 2024 now, isn't it? You know what I mean? It's a different ball game. So, but yeah, um, I've seen it where lads have gone out to Ukraine to help the Ukrainians fight. And look at the boxers there Klitschko, Lomachenko. Um, I don't know if U6 ever got involved with the military, I don't know. You know what I mean? But I know Lomachenko, Klitschko has. It, it, it's, friggin', it's madness, isn't it? It's madness. So, but I tell you what though, Ukraine's done very good. Very good. Just for a little European country there, taking on a big superpower on its own. And it's held its own. I'm very impressed. You know what I mean? I am impressed. And I hope they win, to be fair with you, because it'll send the message. But if Ukraine starts joining NATO and everything and wins this war, it's things are in the balance innit, you know what I mean, if, if it's going to be World War 3, it's going to be World War 3, what's coming after that, that is 100%, and obviously you can look too deep into the news or not or whatever, but it's common facts, but this is happening, there is war right now, so yeah, but um, but yeah, I shared some content earlier on guys, I shared my last video, and it was sent to me, there was a um, predator exposure sting what happened in Exforth in Doncaster uh, a Polish immigrant uh, caught trying to meet a real life 13 year old girl saying what he wants to do to her and what he wants to do that with her and anyhow yeah, he were talking to other little girls on the things that it's like how many more of these people are out there because it's every day I put on Facebook or social media and I watch these predator exposures a lot of them are in Doncaster and obviously there's a lot around the UK but I've watched a lot in Doncaster. The majority of them are not English. You know what I mean? And I have to say it, they're not. Um, 
it's crazy absolutely madness I wouldn't mind giving it a go I, about a couple of years ago I got messaged to ask if I wanted to be one of the one of the hunters to hunt the predator exposures I never got around to doing it I agreed at the time but never got around to doing it I ended up, getting, I ended up going back to prison to be fair um, it didn't end up coming around but yeah it'd be interesting there if uh, if there is any predator exposure groups out there and need someone I think, it, I think it'd be interesting I'd use my platform as well uh, for me to sting them I think I think it'd do good and uh, it'd be enjoyable because they need it but let's face it even though he's been caught trying to meet 13 year old girls he's probably got bailed out probably got bailed straight away you know what I mean just chuffing on if I speed too fast in my car it'll try and chuck me six months it just shows you doesn't it it just shows you but yeah um Apart from that, guys, I hope you're liking the content and I'm keeping it strong and I'm, I'm keeping it going. I've uh, sent a message out to Andy Ross there um, to gain contact there to see with uh, obviously Tommy Robinson for me getting on his podcast or him jumping on mine. That'd be great. But at the same time, guys, don't get it twisted. I know I've been going on a lot about politics and a lot about global news and what have you, and the flaws in our British justice system and obviously immigration and what have you. But still don't get twisted, I'm still training hard. You know what I mean? Look at me. Look at me. I, I don't like to blow my own trumpet, but I look great, don't I? Trust me. I'm not an idiot. But yeah. But anyway, guys, uh, thank you for, anyway, for staying tuned, and I hope you're enjoying the content. Much love. God bless you. Peace.